I have this very special fabric. I designed the print actually from an old traditional Greek embroidery motif that I found at a museum and I got it custom printed at my favorite local fabric printing shop that I will link in the description. Since I'm using a fabric with a repeat pattern, I want to be conscious of where I'm placing my pattern pieces before I cut them out. My pattern is the same repeat if it's flipped vertically or horizontally, so I can flip my pattern pieces upside down and it won't make a difference. So you can see the back piece is going one direction and my front piece is flipped vertically going the other direction. That's all good. I'm matching the point of my front neckline to the point on this smaller motif here. And I'll just follow it down, cutting it in half along my sewing line until I reach the bottom. For my back, I'm choosing the larger motif and just lining it up so I can see it go straight down the center. I want to match the same on the center front when I cut the other half of the front. I'm going to flip my pattern because I'm cutting one pair, so flip it face side down. And if you want an easy trick to match exactly where you've matched before, take your original pattern that you've cut for the other side of the front, place it on top of the pattern, just slowly bring it over so that it matches and lines up exactly on top of the other pattern. Before I cut out my pocket piece, I wanna make sure that I'm also matching the pattern on this. On my front, I've put pins at each corner of the pocket. So if I put my pocket corners on those pins, I can get a good idea of what my pattern looks like. Mark some of the pattern shapes that you see. These are kind of cryptic, but I know what they mean. So right now I'm looking for that same pattern motif that's here. So two points together. So I'll find those two points together and match them with the dots I put on the pattern here. So point and point, those match. And then I should have a little piece of point here that I've marked. So that lines up pretty nicely with that. Since I have a pattern to match here at my center front, I'm going to use pins to match the pattern up first and then sew my seam. You wanna make sure that your stitch finishes a half an inch in from the edge. So let's see how we did matching up the center front. Make sure you like and subscribe below to catch all the new sewing tutorials I've got coming your way.